we're going to be the Silicon Valley of agriculture. Couldn't believe that all of this really came together just from an idea. An idea that started in 2015. And one of those ideas was, how do we make sure that we're educating the next subsequent generations of kids to solve these really complicated issues around food, energy, natural resources. It's about taking this combination of highly complex things, natural resources, and turning them into byproducts, food and energy, uh, for us to survive. So we have a lot of work to do to prepare this generation of kids to solve those problems. And so this is our way of saying, it's gotta start somewhere, why not here, why not now? Welcome to the Stead School, a dream of Kelly Lead brought to life by Sunward Steel Buildings. They wanted a hands-on learning experience. They wanted to incorporate agriculture, science, technology to the school. And on the outside of the building, they wanted to look like a barn, just so it would associate with the, with the concept of the, of the school. To achieve a barn look, we provided cupolas, we provided uh, barn sliding doors, we provided flying gables, all those components to give it a barn look. Traditionally, when you build buildings like this, um, wood and CMU, which is traditional construction, can be pretty costly, especially for those big trusses, um, as well as it's fairly time consuming, consuming for construction. So when you get metal buildings, they're prefabricated, pre-engineered, pre-drilled, pre-punched. So they go up really seamlessly and really easily. I had only a handful of things that I said I wanted, and one was that Sunward was going to be our partner. And Sunward did more than just partner. They became invested. We actually donated an arch building to them that's going to be named in remembrance of our father who has since passed. The arch building are our roots. It's how we got started. My, my father purchased an arch building factory in Jamestown, North Dakota in 1972. It's our foundation, it's our father's foundation, um, and I think he'd be really proud of the work that we've done here. At Sun, we feel really proud of being part of this project. Like I was saying before, just because of what it means to the community and the new hands-on learning. As a member of the family who founded Sunward, I'm pretty, pretty honored um, that it has our name on it and that we were a huge part of it. It's not often that we get to that we are involved in a project such as this that that touches people in in such a way. It's it's become more than a building. And that was evident to me today. And one of the girls asked me if I was a supervisor. I said, no, I said, our company manufactured the metal building. And she said, we love this building. She said, you made this building? And I said, yes. I said, our company made this building. And she said, she's like, wow. She's like, we just love it. They delivered the vision that I had. This gets back to what I said about just, you know, this, this family ideal of the way Amy and her team run the company, you know, and legacy of her father, is those simple ideals of being forthright and being accountable and being respectful and, and being a good listener, those are skills we can all, um, you know, in a world that's short of many of those skills today, it's, it's refreshing to have someone like that, not just in, as a person, or as a family, but as an organization, as a company. We're, the world is tough enough, and it, it just makes it a lot more enjoyable when you're working with someone that brings the high standards that Amy and her team do at Sunward. Would you recommend Sunward to others? Absolutely. And if you ask these future ag leaders of the world, they would agree.